Coming up, it's the High School Quiz Show Invitational Semifinals with Rhode Island. <laughs> Massachusetts. <laughs> That's next on the High School Quiz Show Invitational. <laughs> Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Helen and George Ladd Charitable Corporation, the Lincoln and Therese Filene Foundation, Plotz Associates, Bernstein Schur, and by... Take a moment and change your life. Join a Maine credit union. At a credit union, you're an owner, and a credit union gives back to its owners. Contact your local Maine credit union. It's your moment. Own it. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life. As parents, friends, and teammates, Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. With Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, you get more than a health plan. You get a partner. With benefits built around local needs, they're helping communities across Maine get healthier and happier. Visit harvardpilgrim.org to learn more. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show and our Interstate Invitational Tournament. I'm Billy Costa, your host. It is a four-state showdown. In today's matchup, the winner of WGBH's High School Quiz Show is taking on uh, the winner of Rhode Island PBS's High School Quiz Show, Rhode Island. Now, the winner of today's matchup will advance to the Invitational Championship for a shot at this year's title. So let's get right to it. We'll meet the teams. On the Massachusetts team, we have Aiden, Nick, Christy, and Sebastian with alternates Lucas and Sam and coaches Clara Webb and Andy Zhao. <laughs> And for the Rhode Island team, uh, we have Christina, Daniel, Clara, and Johnny with uh, the alternates Sam and coaches Robert Marley and Samuel Schachter. Okay, so the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we'll start with a toss-up round. All answers teams are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, good luck, and here we go. What country celebrated for its fjords has the longest coastline in continental Europe? Yes, Aiden. Norway. Yes. Excluding religious texts, the children's tale, The Little Prince, is the most translated book in the world. It was originally written in what language? Yes, Clara. French. Yes. Uh, what code name refers to the secret wartime project in New Mexico where the first atomic bombs were designed and built? Yes, Aiden. The Manhattan Project. Yes. In October 2018, the Justice Department sued what U.S. state for passing the toughest net neutrality law in the nation? Yes, Nick. California. Yes. Take a look at your screens. Pictured here is the actual Louisiana Purchase Treaty, a transaction with France that nearly doubled the size of the United States. It was signed on April 30th of what year? Yes, Sebastian. 1803. Yes. Nearly all the cheetahs remaining in the wild live in what continent? Yes, Christy. Africa. Yes. Uh, the concept of genetic inheritance comes from the work of what Austrian monk who focused on the common pea plant in the mid-19th century? Yes, Daniel. Mendel. Yes. Uh, the Celebrity Studded Costume Institute Gala is held on the first Monday every May at what New York City Museum? Yes, Aiden. Uh, the so, MoMA. 
No, Rhode Island, you want to try it. Yes, Daniel. The Met? Yes. In his 1899 poem of the white man's burden, what British author invited the U.S. to assume colonial control of the Philippines? Yes, Sebastian. Rudyard Kip Kipling? Yes. Take another look at your screens. Uh, the governor of Massachusetts has a question for you. Hello, I'm Charlie Baker, governor of Massachusetts, and here's my question. Western Massachusetts is the birthplace of two major sports. James Naismith invented basketball in Springfield in 1891, and William Morgan invented what sport in Holyoke in 1895? Yes, Aiden. Volleyball. Volleyball is correct. We move on. Nicknamed Clockwork Orange for their precision passing. What national soccer team famously plays in bright orange shirts? Yes, Sebastian. Netherlands. Yes. Hailed by some as the most successful debut novel since Gone with the Wind. What book by Alice Siebold is the story of a murdered teenage girl who watches her family from heaven? Yes, Daniel. The Lovely Bones. Yes. Hippocrates is said to have coined the word a carcinoma after seeing a tumor that looked like what animal? Yes, Aiden. A crab. Yes. Which of the following has the lowest freezing point? Is it A, water, B, ethanol, or C, oxygen? Yes, Johnny. Oxygen. Yes. Uh, math question. The ratio of two numbers is 5 to 1. The sum is 18. What are the two numbers? Yes, Johnny. 15 and 3. Yes. In 2018, actor Matthew Reese won an Emmy Award for his lead role in the final season of The Americans, a Cold War thriller set during what decade? Yes, Aiden. 1980s. Yes. Discovered in 1891, Java Man is the name given to the first known fossils of what extinct species that means upright man in Latin? Yes, Nick. Homo erectus. Yes. What Facebook executive is the first woman to become a social media billionaire? Yes, Daniel. Sandberg. Yes. Uh, just before the 2018 midterms, uh, President Trump said he was considering an executive order to end birthright citizenship, though it's protected under what constitutional amendment? Yes, Johnny. The 14th. Yes. Take a look at your screens. We now have a question from the Rhode Island governor. Hi, I'm Gina Raimondo, governor of Rhode Island. And here's my question. Roger Williams founded Providence, Rhode Island on land he acquired from which Native American tribe? Sebastian. The Narragansett. Yes. Which of the following countries is landlocked? Is it A, Iran, B, Afghanistan, or C, Syria? Yes, Aiden. Afghanistan. Correct. In 2018, what gold medal, the highest award in math, was stolen just minutes after it was awarded to a Cambridge University professor? A yes, Sebastian. The Fields Medal. Yes. What kind of animals were Ling Ling and Xing Xing, who were given to the United States as gifts from China following President Nixon's visit in 1972? Yes, Johnny. Pandas. Yes, in 2018. What star of the Avengers and Ghost in the Shell top Forbes magazine's list of highest paid actresses in Hollywood, raking in $40.5 million? Yes, Aiden. Scarlett Johansson. Yes. Math question. If the radius of a spherical ball is double, then its surface area increases by a factor of what number? Yes, Sebastian. Four. Correct. In 2018, what British inventor of the World Wide Web said his creation has failed instead of served humanity and has become anti-human? Yes, Daniel. Tim Berners-Lee. Yes. What star of the Medea films has won two Razzie Awards for Worst Actress Despite Not Being Female? Yes, Daniel. Tyler Perry. Yes. In what decade did the U.S. federal government begin withholding income tax from paychecks with the current Tax Payment Act? Yes, Johnny. The 1910s? No, Massachusetts. You want to take a shot? Yes, Aiden. 40s? 1940s is correct. In 2017, what became the first Spanish-language song to reach number one in the U.S. since Macarena topped the charts in 1996? Yes, Christy. Yes, in Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, the pilgrims are going to Canterbury Cathedral to worship the relics of what saint murdered there in 1170? Yes, Christy. Thomas Moore. No, you want to try it? Yes, Daniel? Beckett. Beckett is right. Uh, what Italian artist is best known for the ecstasy of St. Teresa, a masterpiece of Baroque sculpture? 
Yes, Christy. Bernini. Bernini is correct. Uh, Darwin's theory of natural selection was influenced by what English economist who studied population growth and the struggle for food supply? Yes, Aiden. Malthus. Malthus is right. Kalakmul and uh, Tikal were rival cities uh, that fought each other multiple times during the classic period of what Mesoamerican civilization? Yes, yeah, Sebastian. Mayan. Yes, correct. Played by Tom Hanks in the film The Post, what executive editor of the Washington Post became a national figure during the Watergate scandal? Yes, Sebastian. Bradley. Ben Bradley, yes. Known for its, oh, that's the bell. Ending round one. Uh, the score right now, Massachusetts, 220 points. Rhode Island, 120 points. All right. Trees are down. The power is down. But you're not powerless. The mobile app from Safety Insurance can help you file a claim. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Okay, the head to head round is next. First, we're going to get to know you a little bit better by way of a little question. I'll start over here with Massachusetts. And Aiden, what is your greatest source of state pride? Uh, I'll, say, I'll say Charles Sumner uh, because he embodies everything that's good about Massachusetts. Okay, Nick, how about you? Boston Latin School, the <laughs> oldest and greatest public high school in the country. All right, faculty, did you hear that? Principals, uh, Christy, how about you? Oh, uh, for me, it's Bill Burr and Cornwall Bryan. They're the greatest gingers ever. <laughs> All right, who doesn't love the gingers? Sebastian. I would have to say the Boston music scene. I think it's probably one of the best in the country. Good one. And uh, now we move to the state of Rhode Island. To Christina. Rhode Island has a pretty big Italian population, mm -hmm. and of course with that comes their amazing food, so they have a lot of great restaurants for everyone. Absolutely. Hello, Federal Hill. And uh, Daniel, how about you? Well, we have the oldest surviving synagogue in the United States to which George Washington sent his famous letter. Nice. Enshrining religious freedom. Clara? Um, I'm very proud that we are one of only nine states that has a currently serving female governor. Nice, very nice. And uh, Johnny, how about you? Well, for me, my greatest state pride is that we have the best beverage as our state drink, and that would be coffee milk. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's the deal. The head-to-head -head round is up next, and the way it's going to work, all of you will come forward, and all of you will go head-to-head. -head. Let's go. Okay, we're about to go head to head. I've got Rhode Island to my left, Massachusetts to my right. Let's shake hands and get started. Uh, as a reminder, in the head to head round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. Now, you can buzz in at any time. So the clock is set at 90 seconds. Here we go. What famous ballet includes the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy? Yes. Nutcracker. Yes. Nicknamed the Dog Star. What is the brightest star in the night sky? Yes. Serious. Yes. Who terrified readers with the story of the fall of the House of Usher? Yes. Oh, uh, Poe. Yes. Uh, Gavin Newsom is the current governor of what U.S. state? California. Uh, what cat slowly vanishes, leaving nothing but its grin? The Cheshire Cat. Yes. Who was the Prime Minister of Great Britain at the start of World War II in Yes? Churchill. No, Neville Chamberlain. Uh, what pop singer stars opposite Bradley Cooper in the latest film version? Yes. Lady Gaga. Yes. Heartburn occurs when stomach acid backs up into what tube, also known as the food pipe? Yes. Esophagus. Yes. In the 1946 film, It's a Wonderful Life, what is the name of George Bailey's guardian angel? Clarence, what is the uh, densest planet in the solar system? Earth. Uh, kanji is a Chinese writing system, yes? Uh, Chinese. No, Japan would have been the answer. Uh, the highest honor at graduation, what three word uh, Latin phrase means, yes? Summa cum laude. Yes. Helmand is the largest province of what Middle Eastern country? Afghanistan. In Homer's Odyssey, who fends off 108 suitors as she awaits the return? Uh, uh Penelope. Yes. Uh, name the capital city of Australia. Yes. Canberra. Yes. What infectious disease? Oh, that's the bell ending round two. A look at the score right now. Massachusetts, 270 points. Rhode Island, 140 points. How about it, everybody? <laughs> Okay, 
Next up is the category round with the following categories. The A-list, from page to screen, blackboard jungle, triple play, testing the waters, and gallery walk. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point values and players. Uh, you can confer with your teammates. However, uh, once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer, and we will need your answer. Now, Rhode Island, you have a little ground to make up. No big deal. But you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? We'll pick the A-list, please. Okay. The A-list. All answers begin with the letter A for 10 points. Sir Isaac Newton was obsessed with what mysterious medieval art of trying to turn base metals into gold? Yes, Aiden. Alchemy. Alchemy's right. Massachusetts, you've got the board. Category. Testing the water for 10. Testing the waters. Questions about bodies of water. For 10 points, what is the largest body of water on Earth? Uh, Daniel. Pacific Ocean. Yes, you've got the board, Rhode Island. Category. Let's stick with testing the waters. Testing the waters for 15 points. What river in Asia is the third longest river in the world after the Nile and the Amazon? Yes, Aiden. Yangtze. Yes, and now you've got the board, Massachusetts. Category. Testing the waters. For 20 points, Banff National Park in Alberta, Canada includes what glacial lake named for a daughter of Queen Victoria? Yes, Christina. Lake Louise. Correct. You've got the board, Rhode Island. Category. Testing the waters, please. For 25 points, famed for its mineral-rich, milky blue water, what man-made geothermal pool is Iceland's most visited spa, drawing an estimated 700,000 people every year? Yes, Johnny. The Blue Lagoon. Yes, you've got the board, Rhode Island. Category. Uh, shall we stick with testing the waters? Yes, we shall. And for 30 points. In the short story, the final problem, Sherlock Holmes and uh, Moriarty plunge to their deaths while fighting at what famous waterfall in the Swiss Alps? Yes, Christy. Rhinebeck Falls. No, Rhode Island, you want to try it. Christina. Reichenbach Falls. Reichenbach Falls is correct. And now, Rhode Island, you get the board category. Can we go back to the A-list? This is for 15 points. Uh, what almond-shaped region of the brain initiates the automatic part of the fight-or-flight response to danger? Yes, Johnny. The amygdala. That is correct. You've still got the board, Rhode Island. Category? Can we please stick with the A-list? Yes, you can for 20 points. Uh, chromatids separate from each other to form two new chromosomes during what stage of mitosis? Yes, Clara. Anaphase. Anaphase is right. You've still got the board. Uh, let's stick with the A-list, please. Okay, there's time for 25 points. In physics, what measurement is the distance from a wave's baseline to its highest or lowest point? Clara. Amplitude. Correct. You've still got the board, Rhode Island. Let's finish off the A-list. All right, for 30 points. From the Latin meaning whiteness, uh, what term is used in astronomy to describe the reflective properties of planets, satellites, and asteroids? Yes, Sebastian. Albedo. That is correct. You've got the board, Massachusetts. You'll need a category. Blackboard Jungle for 10, please. Okay, these are questions about famous people who were once teachers. For 10 points, who disliked uh, being a school teacher, calling his students little runtlings who hardly knew the alphabet, but had better luck as America's second president? Yes, Nick. John Adams. That is correct. You've got the board, Massachusetts. Stick with it. Blackboard Jungle for 15 points. I was the only man on the faculty. In fact, I was the only teacher not in a habit. Who said this about teaching at an English convent school before becoming a star with the band, The Police? Yes, Sebastian. Sting. Sting is right. You've still got the board, Massachusetts. Blackboard Jungle for 20, please. Okay, from 1993 to 2001, what programmer and Apple co-founder volunteered his time to teach computer classes to public school students in Los Gatos, California? Yes, Johnny. Steve Wozniak. Correct, and you've got the board, Rhode Island, category... Uh, can we stick with Blackboard Jungle, please? Okay, 25 points at stake here. What comic actor was an elementary and middle school music teacher in Chicago before finding fame as Daryl Philbin in The Office? Yes, Sebastian. Robinson? Yes, Craig Robinson. And you've got the board Massachusetts category. Blackboard Jungle for 30, please. Okay, what guitarist for the rock band Queen is also an astrophysicist who worked with NASA and is a former secondary school math teacher? Brian May uh, from Queen. Great movie, by the way, Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, Massachusetts, you've still got the board. You'll need a category. 
Triple play for 10, please. Okay, all answers in this category are three consecutive words that repeat. And for 10 points, similar to HGTV's House Hunters, what British series is titled after a mantra about the three most important things to consider when buying real estate? Yes, Clara. Location, location, location. Yes, Rhode Island, you get the board back category. Uh, let's stick with triple play, please. For 15 points, tired of constantly being compared to her older sister, uh, what famous phrase does Jan introduce in the Brady Bunch episode, Her Sister's Shadow? Yes, Nick. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> yes. And you've got the board, Massachusetts. Gallery walk for 10. All right, gallery walk, uh, questions about paintings, and for 10 points, in his iconic painting, The Starry Night, who unknowingly painted Venus, referenced as the morning star in a letter to his brother, Theo? Yes, Christina. Van Gogh. Yes, you've got the board, Rhode Island, category. We'll stay with gallery walk, please. This time for 15 points, what Italian Renaissance master painted the birth of Venus, the first full-length non-religious nude since antiquity? Yes, Christy. Botticelli. That is correct. And now you've got the board, Massachusetts. Uh, gallery wall for 20, please. 20 points. What surrealist artist grappled with the horrors of the Spanish Civil War in his 1937 painting, uh, The Burning Giraffe? Yes, Johnny. Picasso. Huh? Picasso? No, Massachusetts. You want to try it, Aiden? Dolly. Uh, yes. And now you've still got the board, Massachusetts. Category? Stick with it, please. Gallery Walk for 25 points. Known as the mother of American modernism, uh, what artist is best known for her paintings of enlarged flowers? For example, Black Iris. Yes, Aiden. O'Keefe. Georgia O'Keefe, yes. You've still got the board, Massachusetts. Stick with it. Okay, Gallery Walk for 30 points. Uh, Michelangelo spent four years painting the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. It was created by applying paint directly onto damp plaster, a technique known as what? Yes, Christy. Fresco. Fresco is right. You've got the board, Massachusetts. You'll need a category here. From page to screen for 10, please. Okay, questions about books adapted into films in 2018. For 10 points, what British comedian and host of Carpool Karaoke voices the title character in the film The Tale of Peter Rabbit? Yes, Sebastian. James Corden. Yes, you've still got the board, Massachusetts. Category? From page to screen for 15, please. Okay, what Steven Spielberg film takes place in the year 2045 when many people escape the desolation of the real world by plugging into a virtual utopia called the Oasis? Yes, Christy. Ready Player One. That is correct. You've got the board, Massachusetts. From page to screen for 20, please. What Spike Lee film is based on a memoir by Ron Stallworth, subtitled Race, Hate, and the Undercover Investigation of a Lifetime? Yes, Aiden. Black Klansman. Yes, you've still got the board, Massachusetts. Stick with it. From page to screen for 25 points, based on the novel by Angie Thomas, uh, what film follows Star Carter, a teen who becomes an activist after witnessing the police shoot her unarmed friend? Yes, Johnny. The Hate You Give. That is correct. And now, Rhode Island, you get the board category. Uh, stick with uh, from page to screen, please. Okay, 30 points at stake here. The box office smash, Crazy Rich Asians, is based on the best-selling novel by what author who grew up in Singapore? Yes, Daniel. Kwan. Kevin Kwan is right. Still have the board, Rhode Island. Only one category left, and that is triple play. For 20 points, memorably delivered when he won an Oscar for Dallas Buyers Club. What signature phrase of Matthew McConaughey is from his first scene on film in 1993's Dazed and Confused? Yes, Sebastian. All right, all right, all right. You know, you did it pretty well, too. And uh, Massachusetts, oh, sorry, that's the bell ending the category round. The score right now. Massachusetts, 515 points. Rhode Island, 360 points. Let's hear it, folks. Okay, we're heading into the final 90 seconds of game play. We call it the lightning round. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers, teams, will cost you uh, 20 points. So the clock is set. Good luck. Here we go. What river flows through Shakespeare's hometown of Stratford? Yes, Daniel. Uh, Avon. Yes, name the westernmost province of Canada. Yes, Aiden. British Columbia. Yes, like the original series from the 80s, the Magnum P.I. reboot is, yeah, Daniel. Hawaii. Yes, uh, name the only object in the solar system that's classified as both a dwarf planet and an asteroid. Yes, Daniel. Series. Yes, Origin is a new thriller from what author of the Da Vinci Code? Daniel. Brown. Yes. 
What current MSNBC host was the first openly gay anchor to host a primetime? Yes, Hayes. Hayes. No, Rachel Maddow. The Bay of Bengal is part of what ocean? Yes, Aiden? The Indian. Yes, on a baseball position chart, what position is listed as number one? Yes, Aiden. Catcher. No, pitcher. Name the only mountain in North America that uh, rises more than 20,000 feet above. Daniel. Denali. Yes. Uh, what American actor plays the title role in the 2018 film Black Panther? Yes, Aiden. Uh, Chadwick Bosman. Yes, in 2016, the Blackhawks' Patrick Kane became NHL's first MVP, born and raised in what country? Yes, Sebastian. United States. Yes, what U.S. president was assassinated by Charles Guiteau? Yes, Christy. Uh, Garfield. Yes, uh, the U.S. Constitution has how many amendments, Christy? 27. Yes, what musician from Freehold, New Jersey, wrote the best-selling memoir, Yes, Bruce Springsteen. Yes, uh, what Greek philosopher is associated with a principle called the Golden Yes? Aristotle. Yes, what is the chemical symbol for vanadium? Yes, Christy. V. Yes, who, oh, wow. <laughs> That's it. The winner, Massachusetts with a score of 655 points. Rhode Island, the runner-up with 460 points. Congratulations to both teams for great games. Uh, and now Massachusetts will move on to play in the Invitational Championship. So be sure you're tuned in. We'll see you all back here next week for High School Quiz Show. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Helen and George Ladd Charitable Corporation, the Lincoln and Therese Filene Foundation, Plotz Associates, Bernstein Schur, and by... Every day, Maine credit unions give you a new chance to make your money go further so you get ahead faster. Because with a credit union, you own a piece of the pie. Contact your local Maine Credit Union. It's your moment. Own it. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life. As parents, friends, and teammates, Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. With Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, you get more than a health plan. You get a partner. With benefits built around local needs, they're helping communities across Maine get healthier and happier. Visit harvardpilgrim.org to learn more. And by viewers like you. Thank you. A production of WGBH.